Hi, I'm Trisha. And I'm George. And we are reselling, reselling with the Clarks. The Clarks. Um, today we have a joint haul. We have a small CHKD haul. This one was a really small one because we had several of the kids with us and we forgot to grab the kids masks. So, and we have to wear masks are mandated here in Virginia. Mm. Um, so I ran in and picked up a few things, left them in the cart and asked them to hold it. My husband ran in and picked up some more things and purchased the, our, our, belong, our items that we had together. So we're going to have a small haul from there. Um, and then we also, the one day we were out and we had about 15 minutes or 20 minutes to wait on our pizza we had ordered. So we ran across the street from the pizza shop and went to one of the Goodwill retail stores over there and oh. picked up just a few items. We were in there maybe. A few, a five, lot of hats. Well, a lot of hats, but we were only in there maybe five to 10 items or five to 10 minutes waiting on the pizza. So, um, we're going to do this quick call and we hope you enjoy and we'll follow till the end. If you like, hit the like button and... If you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button if you like this kind of content. I'll get started. Um, the first item I picked up was these pair of Hunter boot socks. They are, they don't have the tag on them. They have the store, the CHKD to store tag, but you can tell they've never been worn. Uh, worn, sorry. Um, they're the shorter ones. They're a medium in women's, and um, it looks like they're selling for about. 18 to 20 dollars i paid two dollars and 58 cents for them and then 25 percent off of that so you can't beat that so hopefully i'll be able to make you know even at least sell them for 15 i hope you got something over there my hats <laughs> this is a snapback hat that shows flash i believe that's on yeah. there it's uh it's got flash on the brim and the flash symbol on the top yeah, we got it for three ninety eight. And then twenty five percent off. Yeah, their hats vary. They don't have like set pricing on any of their items. They really vary. And sometimes you find good items that are not marked up. Sometimes you find items that aren't so good marked up. So you really just have to really go through their and another their hat. Items from this top is to uh, oh, you're gonna love this one, Corona Extra. So yes. It's a nice little hat. I saw that kind of got a kick out of it with uh, the plague going around now, the virus, the corona. And I'm thinking, oh, this, this is kind of comical, really. Um, but, yeah, I like it. It's like a kind of a light, very light green, like a lime green. So, yeah, pretty good deal. Well, and as if you've watched any of our previous videos, you'll find out I like to pick up crazy ties. Well, I picked up this one. I've never heard of this brand before, but it's called Wally Wear, and it's Mr. Potato Head. It's from 1996, so it's vintage, but I had to have this tie. I definitely need to get him listed. I thought he was pretty cool, and the rest of the tie is all different potato head pieces. And we have two huge bags. Like duffel bag. Duffel bags, Actually, it's one of, duffel bag, I believe. Full of, of the, potato head. Yeah, and from all our that. kids when they were younger. Yeah. Not sure if we're going to pass those on to the grandkids or yeah, throw those will. in a lot sometime and sell them. But um, our kids loved the potato heads when they were growing up. I also have a pair of shoes here. These are a pair of Converse. I did not comp these, but they're um, an 8 in men, 10 in women's. Um, excellent shape. Barely look worn. Yeah, they do. I don't even know if they've been worn out at all. The soles still have the kind of fuzzy stuff on the bottom. They don't look like they've even been worn. I paid $7 plus 25% off for them. They're in excellent shape. I have not comped them, but I, I like to pick up the bold Hey, that would go with my flash stuff. hat because there the flames on the side flash. Hey, maybe we'll get someone yeah. to buy the flash and the fire shoes together, <laughs> huh? Flaming. And then I got one other pair of shoes. I have not picked up this kind of Crocs before. I do pick up Crocs. Kids Crocs, adult Crocs, yeah. women's Crocs, yeah. men's Crocs, the uni unisex ones. But I picked these up. They're not perfect. You can tell they've been worn. There's some imperfections, little dings and dents, and, you know, nothing major. They need wiped down. They're dusty. But... I thought they were really cute, and I think I, pay, I paid four ninety eight plus twenty five percent off, so not very much for them. Even if I get fifteen or twenty out of them, that would be great. And these are a size women's eight, I believe. That's what it looks a w like. W eight, it looks like women's yeah, eight. Yeah, women's eight. So yeah, women's eight. I I don't know. The Crocs seem to do very well. They hold up really well. They're a comfortable shoe. So I don't, I have not comped these. I have not sold this type before. So we'll see how they do. You got some stuff over there, George? I got a pair of shoes I picked up. 
she didn't think they would go well, but I like them. I could be I wrong. Think they're, I think they're pretty neat. They're a slip-on shoe. They're very soft. They don't look like they've been worn a lot. And I, what got me on them is I looked at the tag. They're a um, Ishmael's. He's picked up shoes before that I thought were and good. And he paid size, less than $5 for them and sold them for $42. So, these are size 12 with M. And they also have the European, Chinese, UK, and all that. But, uh, yeah, I like them. I looked up the comps on these, and I was trying to show her that. The Ishmael shoes... Had some pretty good comps on them. I think they're either 24 or something like that. I don't know. We'll have to agree to disagree on this one, and we'll see what happens. I think somebody would really like these. I would buy them, but I don't need a lot of shoes. I, I'm not a. I'm not like women. He, I don't have to have. He doesn't pairs have shoes. multiple pairs of shoes. He wears them until they wear out, and exactly. then gets another pair. <laughs> Just like this shirt. I've had this shirt. My daughter Madison got it for me when she used to come to the house when she was young. Um, he has I've had, had that. that shirt for probably 15 or more years. Oh, yeah, and <laughs> it's got a hole in the armpit, but I'm still wearing it because it's my baby that gave it to me, and I'm that kind of person. If I had these, I'd wear these till the what? soles come off. That's just me, but <laughs> I think they would sell. I think someone will buy them. They'll like them. Another Burgundy thing I, color, yeah. Another thing I picked up was this Cricut cartridge. It was three ninety eight plus twenty five percent off, which makes it about $3. Um I actually have a Cricut, but I have a newer one, but it does take the cartridges. I'm not sure if it will take this one. If it does, I may just keep it for myself, but if not, I have not comped it at all. I have no idea what they do, but it's brand new, sold in the box. We'll just see. I was trying to think out of our normal, think outside the box, as Jean and Michelle say, but we'll see what happens. I also picked up these um, Nike Pro, or no, these aren't. These ones aren't Nike Pro. I know. I think I thought I had Nike Pros here. Maybe not. These nope. are Champion They're Power medium. Power Core. They look like they remind me of the Mike the Nike Pros. That must have been a different haul. I had the Nike Pros, but they're in excellent shape. They don't look worn at all. They don't have any of the fuzzing are these kids on them. Or women's no, or? they're a, they're at eight ten. So I'm not really sure. I paid a dollar ninety nine for them. They may be kids, uh, but I'll say um, they may be. Yeah, I think they may be kids, but that's okay. Um, I don't normally pick up kids, but I thought these, like I said, I, I actually thought they were, um, the Nike pros, but I guess I didn't look very close, did I? But anyway, they, we'll see how they do. I paid a dollar ninety nine plus 25% off. We'll see what happens. And then I got another pair of leggings and, um, they are Nike pro. No. <laughs> they're actually under armor and I may use these for me. I'm not sure. I don't know if they'll fit me. I actually think I bought these ones for me in mind. I like the I like the fit of the Under Armour ones or the Adidas ones. And these were marked down to $1.99. If they don't fit me, they'll either fit one of my girls or we will sell them. They're a little bit worn. You can tell they've been worn. But they're not. They're still in really good shape. There's not a lot of balling and stuff on them. But they're soft and very good shape. Still have good elasticity to them. But you can tell they've been a little bit worn. But we'll see. If one of us don't take them, they'll get listed. I have a uh, this jacket I seen when we was at the um, CHKD. Went in there. It's a sleeveless the best. vest type jacket. Parish Nation. Parish Nation. Health, wealth, and wisdom, it says. It has like some distress and on the collars. It's got some distressed. Stressing. Stressing or distressing. Whatever, however you say, however you say it. it. I'm not sure either. And then the back has like <laughs> this floral type. Oh, it's a polka dot. Polka it's dot. It's a polka dot. Almost looks like a splatter polka dot, not a even one. On the back. But it's, it's not cool all the way up. He has the jeans in the back. The denim. Pretty the good. denim, whatever. And it has a patch like here. But yeah, I, I thought this was sell, being that it's... Um, it's unique and distressed. It's yeah. cool. I thought and it was it's a different. 3X in men, so that's a good size for sure. Yeah. And we always steam those up and, you know, so it won't look so Everything's wrinkly. for sale. Somebody would buy it. Somebody would like it. So that's how you and, have to look at this. And we look at it this way, too. We are willing to be long-term sellers. We love some quick items, too. We love when you list something and it sells the next day or the same day. And But we also are willing to wait for that profit. I have items that I listed clear back in February, just sold in the last month. Right. And, yeah, they've lasted for a while, but I still got a decent price out of them, and I made money on them. So I'm willing to wait on it. I'm not... 
I'm not spending money to the amount that I have to hurry up and get it sold right. so I can, you know, live on it. We're not taking the money we need. Some to of the on. items we just sold recently, like uh, I had uh, a shirt. Uh, I paid a dollar, I think dollar fifty for the shirt at uh, back a little store. Maybe March. It's a April. Uh, Earnhardt shirt, but uh, I figured, hey, racing fans will love something like that. I sold it for seven dollars. I, I was listing it for ten. Before that, I had it at 15 or 20. I went from 20 down to 15. Then I said, maybe that's too much. So I dropped it to 10. It's only a t-shirt. Somebody offered seven. I said, hey, that's seven bucks I didn't have. I paid a dollar. So hey, six dollars in my pocket. So, or towards my other eBay cost. But hey, we're not in it to be rich and a millionaire. We're in it to just help people. And we enjoyed the hunt. And we enjoy it. We really, we it. enjoy the thrifting. We enjoy oh, the yeah. finds. Um, it's great. It's, I've had a hobby of thrifting for years, um, but just over the last year, we really started selling on eBay. So now I'm thrifting to make money off of it, not just thrifting for our family and friends and, you know, so Well, it's, it's for fun. our income because me being retired now, well, it, we still have it seven kids help. at home. It does I mean, it does help, and we're our goal is to be debt free. So right. we use That's the extra income for our debt. We've actually paid off over twenty thousand dollars this Yay. year. We're we've got a high, high goal to finish. We have three more debts that we want to have paid off by the end of the year, and then we'll only owe on our camper and our house. And our camper was our house for about seven months. So. But that's a whole nother story. <laughs> but anyway, our goal is to be debt free, and yep. that is why we started selling on eBay. We sell things from around our house besides thrifting items. So, but we have a couple more items we'll show you, and um, we hope you enjoy. This is NFL team. Um, I didn't even realize these were an NFL team when I first picked them up. They were um, they're really soft and fuzzy, yeah. and um, they are the Dallas Cowboys. And I believe they're I believe they're the pajama skins. pants. They're um, very very soft, and they're Christmassy too. They have Christmas trees and reindeer on them. And honestly, I believe they're brand new without without tags. They they may have been washed, but they don't feel like they've been washed. The fabric feels very soft, and um, so. I I just picked those up at five ninety nine, and then twenty five percent off. My team, like I said, Redskins. Sports, we love to sell sports but remember, sports items like that. They seem to do really well for us. Dallas does have a one bad running back. That's Elliot. That boy can run. I, I, I like him. Last thing I, I got like is this shirt I seen. <laughs> and I don't know why this, the color stood out to me. I just, I liked it. It just has a... I don't know. It's like, it's buy me. It's wild. It says, buy me. It's brand new with the tags so on the it, So the back so. is pretty cool. It looks like it's a head, because it looks like the ears here at the top, and then it looks like uh, the head of an animal. I have animal no or idea of, what it is, but it is wild Or if you crazy. look at it, hold up the side of the really And it is a nice material. Hold that side for a second. I want to show something. This is pretty neat. I'm looking at this, and you can look at it any kind of way. It looks like ears here, but oh, now it looks like looks eyeballs. Like a bird to me. Eyeballs here, the nose here. Yeah, so. kind of looks like a bird. I don't know what it is. <laughs> so it, but I like. But it's this new shirt. with the tags on. It's new bright and tags. crazy colors. It's called Koo Fandy. Koo Koo and um, Koo Fandy. I don't yeah. know what this material is. I Terry Lee. Feels good. T E R Y L E N E and two percent spandex. We'll have to look that up. I'm and not size sure medium, what that is. But yeah. But it is very nice. She looked and, at me uh, when I came out and she goes, uh, why'd you buy what that? Is and that, I said basically. that's gonna sell. So we'll see what happens. It's a brand we we've picked this up in a sweater before. It has not sold yet, but that's okay. It hasn't been listed long either. But um and it's just the beginning of sweater season. But we'll see what happens. And you know, I feel like this. Sometimes we pick up things that aren't our norm and may not have high comps on them and we win and we get a great profit on it. And then sometimes we pick up something that we think might have high comps we it might have or it has high comps on it and we think we're going to do great on it and we don't do so great on it and there's been sometimes we barely broke even yeah but it all equals out and we we do you know mo most of the time we make a decent profit we at least typically double our money that we put into right, it but you have to understand so, too that you win people, some you lose some people that are doing this uh, a lot of different people uh, they sell online and we're right now dealing with eBay. We want to get on Poshmark and Macari and a few others. I have a few items on Poshmark. I don't have anything. I'm new at this, and I'm dumb as a rock when it comes to this. But I'm trying to learn, and I'm trying to do better. But 
Some people take off like a rocket with this stuff and their sales go through the roof. But we also have to realize that we have seven children at home that are still being schooled. Um, home, all of them are at home at this time. Um, five of them being typically homeschooled. Two of them are doing the remote learning from the school in our area. And so that's a very busy life. And then trying to fit in Feeling eBay and just taking and... care of seven kids and a house and cooking and cleaning and but... all of those things is a full-time job. So we can't do eBay McCarty completely and full. That, yeah. Well, and we can do different things, but we can't do them full time like maybe some other people. Right. We'll because try. we have a full time job just taking care of our family. So, I mean, we are doing what we're doing and we're making decent. You know, we're not in no $100,000. And I don't know that we'll ever be there, but we are well. making money and we're enjoying the ride. We enjoy the thrifting. We enjoy the locker. Um, storage lockers that we buy we enjoy those things and we are making money on it so even if we're not making a hundred thousand dollars we are making a profit and we are enjoying it it is something that we truly enjoy doing together hopefully sometime soon we'll be able to show you a video on how we do our processing and uh... Um, yeah sometime I would like to show a video on how we um, I mean, we don't have to show you how we do our pictures and all that. I mean, we can give you a short clip of what we use. Um, we do have a white box that we, a light box that we, we made I actually ourself. made it. Yeah, um, it works That we do good. small items in. And then we um, do either pictures on our wooden floor. Um, we've done them on our, we have an antique door, door that corner. sits in the we corner. We've done or... them up against a wall. We've done yeah. them on the mannequin. We do them off the mannequin. We got hanging but we also have a way that we store our items after they've been photographed and we ready to be listed. And we put them and in bags. So maybe someday and... we'll share how we yeah. keep inventory and things like that. But for today, we'll go ahead and do the rest of this haul. We have a little bit more. Um, we stopped at a retail Goodwill store, like I said at the beginning, um, for just a very quick trip while we were waiting on our, our pizza. Pizzas and stuff, yeah. So we'll reach back behind us and grab that and show you those, and then we'll let you go on about your day. Oh, they're behind us. Yeah. I was looking around to see where's the rest of the stuff at. Mm. I hit him from him. Sure you did. He don't. See, like, they say parents have eyes in the back of their head, but apparently George doesn't. Like he I didn't said, know they were back there. We we got a few <laughs> hats. Yeah, right. Oh, just a few. Just a few. George well, I, actually, I'll start with a couple of these because sure. um, this one's, a, I believe, the Panthers. Carolina Panthers, right? yes. Carolina Panthers. See, I don't, I'm not as dumb as I look, maybe. I'm not a big sports fan, but I do know some of the teams. And this is Green Bay. Yes. And, and these, what these are, beanies. They're they're not, you know, like caps. a winter hat. They're beanies. We'll pick up any kind of hat that we catches our eye. It can be a ball, it can be a ball cap, it can be a beanie, it could be. Um, a lady's dress hat. It could be um, oh, you anything. Mean, you mean like Latifah's over there? We named our mannequin heads um, and one's Latifah or whatever. Lakeisha. Lakeisha. And Mary is my other one. We're, we do, we have fun. I, I told someone I hired assistants to help me in my eBay store. One of my got I in a locker. I think it's the hat we already showed where it's gray and Yeah, we like did. Tiger another, I believe we showed it in another fall. I was going to wear it. But she there's told different ones. To. There's different ones we pick up. We just enjoy picking up hats. I'm not sure exactly why that catches our eye, but it does. And this one here is actually Snow White and the evil stepmother and our beanie hat like that at that Goodwill I think was like 249 if I remember correctly but um their other the baseball style hats um, are like are three something three three dollars I yeah. believe but these were 249 I don't and see no things I don't, showing oh sizing no for the pricing Oh, they're they don't using... they're not marked at that Goodwill okay. and this is actually Disney itself Disney, I yeah. mean and it's an adult hat I believe they're just one size. It doesn't have a sizing in it. It says adult. And, um, yeah, but it does say adult. So, I don't, I don't know. We'll see. I haven't comped any of these. We haven't really comped any of these, I don't believe, because no. we haven't pulled them out. We just now but took them out these would be nice for wintertime, too. So. Yeah, and that season's coming right around the corner. Uh, some hats. We've got AMP Energy. I kind of like this one. It's a, it's like a racing hat. Yeah, it's actually Dale and Jr., isn't it? 88? Is that who Dale 88 Jr. is? 88 is uh, Dale. Is that Dale Jr.? Yeah, Dale Jr. Looks oh, and it like, says National Guard on the side, too. It says National Guard on the side. Um, NASCAR sure. in the back. I'm not so, sure, yeah. but we pick up hats. <laughs> but I, I thought it was a cool hat. When I saw that, it, it had his name in 88 on the back. I said, I'm getting it. I actually found this one and thought it was pretty cool. I've had a couple other ones, and my son, who's 17 and works doing roofing, um, likes the ones with the mesh back, so he stole a couple of them. I but had that picked one's up. Of all but the this is the Justice League Justice of America. League, yeah. It's just got different prints of all the different characters on it, and it's a flat bill. And I like the logo on the front. Um, this is brand new. It still has the cardboard in the front of it. 
Yeah, it's a so, snap pack. And we paid three for it, but hey, hopefully we'll do pretty well on that. You could go ahead and show some if you this want. This one is a yellow Fame, F-A-M-E. And, and that one looks like it has the cardboard still in it, still it too. Does, yeah. yes. What's this say? It has cardboard still up in by yeah. the brim. What's that from? Oh, the Hall of Fame. This is from the Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame. Yeah, Hall of Fame. Um, It says 34. retail, $34. $34. I'm not so. sure, but it's brand new, and it says Hall of Fame. Yeah. It has a little pencil mark or a pen mark or something on the back. I'm not sure if that'll come out. It might have came from um, the... Actually, looks like it's from so this. The buckle? Yeah. It's brass. It's leaving a blue mark on there. It is because it's brass. Hmm. So. I don't know if we can get that out or not. If not, we'll notate that in the listing. Right. But. Then we have a note. North Carolina, I believe that is NC. Um, small, medium, Pacific Pro Series. It has a number. It, it might That's be. That's a mesh hat. That's but pretty nice. It might be for. I don't know if this is a kid's hat or not, because it's a six and seven eighths to seven and three eighths is what, because it stretches. But yeah. So that ought to sell. Most of these hats should. What's that? Do you know? P.S. Uh, yeah, it's, I don't know. It's Pacific Headwear. It says style 4D6. I don't know what that is, but I thought it was pretty cool. And it's a mesh back trucker hat, but it's, um, also, it's the, um, flex fit. It's not the, um, it's not the snapback, but it no, is mesh back. it says, back. um. I couldn't tell what that said. J. JP2 or something? JP2 or something Is that like JP that. on, no, it's PS on the front. I, I don't know. know, but anyway, we'll look You'll into it a little You'll love this more. one. This one, I love DC. Sparkly, sparkly. Sparkly, sparkly. And it got all the little hearts on there because if you love it, you'll dig it. So, and then on the back, it has hearts. And I love DC on there with the hearts. And it's a black, but it's a USA, 100% acrylic. And it's a size large. Next hat is a B with the, looks like a feather on it. So, I'm not sure what that stands for. I have to look it up. It's a black scale. It's um, the brand. I'm not sure. The brand. Hmm. Yeah, and it's a snapback. Well, this one here is Virginia Tech Hokies. Um, it is a NCAA hat. Yep. Um, Basketball. It's got that NCAA on the inside of the brim. It's got the orange brim, the maroon outside. But um, I have a trucker hat that's like that too. But it has. It's been uh, sponsored by an insurance company on the side. But yeah, I figured the Hokies. We're in Virginia. We got to support our Hokies. Oh, this is uh, SF, and I'm not sure. San Francisco. What, San Francisco, maybe, and it's a uh, new era. It's not a '59, is nope. it? No, nope, but it's a new era. It's new era. It's not a '59 50. It, yeah, but it's in really good shape. Oh yeah, a couple size, little spots need wiped off, but it's not. Size seven. Yeah. But yeah, it's just black, and it has the SF for San Francisco. I'm yeah. assuming on it. I'm assuming yeah, that's what that is. SF. Last hat is Atlanta Braves. Um, I'm assuming it's men or ch a child's hat because it's a we six and five We looked up the sizing eights. and it looks like it is a small in adults or a large in youth. And it's a 59.50. It looks like they had something on the side here. It looks and they, like they, they took part of it out, but they missed the Y. So they missed I'll the have y to take still that there out. And part of, so I don't know. We'll notate that on there. But well, actually, I'll take it out and see if if it doesn't come out, then we'll notate it. But um, I picked up these Coogie women's sh long shorts. Um, I like the bold, bright, crazy colors. Um, I don't know how they'll do. I did not comp these, but I thought with the decorative pockets and the Coogie stitching here below the pocket, I'd wear and then those. this Australian patch. And See, got the Coogie I thought I'd give them a try, and they're a decent size. On the leg, leg, it has they're the Coogie marking too, so that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, it does have the stitching there. I didn't even Some realize kind of stitching. that. Mm -hmm. And um. And the stitching on the front, on the um, the belt loops, actually, like the two here and then the one middle in the back, and then the stitching around the fly and around the pocket. So, I don't know. They look almost new. They're a 910. They're really good um, size, and we'll see what they do. I don't see a style name. I don't know if they have a number on their tag that you can look up or not. I have not sold women's coogie shorts before, so we'll just see what happens. I'm always open to trying different things, and if they don't do well, we know next time. That's how I look at it. I don't. I try not. You know, obviously, I, have, I don't well, go we have some way men's, high. We have, some we men's have sold coogies. some coogies and they some schmacks. Um, we sold one pair of them. Yeah, one pair, but we had two pairs they don't and we seem sold to be one. Selling, so I don't but know if it's you know, I think or... sometime with the bold, bright things like this, you just have to sit on them for a while because you have to find the right buyer. Yeah. 
So yeah, somebody we're willing it. to sit on them. Yep. So we'll see what happens. So you get a couple more items there, and then we can let these people go. Oh, you're gonna let me show your little jacket oh, you picked up? Oh, that's the South Pole I picked yeah, up. Yeah, South Pole jacket. Um, yeah. It's an extra extra large, which is a great size. It's a women's snap front, and it's got this South Pole stitching across the back. It's almost like a blazer style. It's really cute. Um, I I was second guessing him getting this, but he really the, liked it. Um, so the jeans seem to we'll have a good retail do. price on them when you go to resell do. them. Uh, Do you hear my talk over here? So, I, I think South Pole, the jacket, and I think it'd be nice. It's a nice winter Button jacket. Button it up here so you can get it. It's actually more of a fall or spring jacket, but it's well, really cute. Um, in my language there, I guess it's been a long day and I'm getting tired. I just said, be, I really do or something. I don't know. It sounded funny how I said it. But, thing. Oh, you're not going to show your shirt you picked up? Uh, oh, it's a Harry Potter, I believe, in that yes, what you said it was. Sure it, is. Yep, it sure is. Hogwarts. And um, he picked up this t-shirt. It's got the really neat web, like, I don't know how to explain that front, but that's it's really cool. It's got like cool. a gold. And, um, oh, I was talking about this yeah. new design in the neckline. But um, it's a 2X in women. It's really cute. It has the it metallic is. style graphic. Know, drop um, it down, babe. It has like, if you can see, it's like oh, it's got a little ring. It's got a ring in between the strands, right. too. And that's the front of it. So the in the front, front neckline. But um, it's got the metallic gold print on it and the black also and down here. It's really in good shape, too. It doesn't even look worn. The t-shirt material is not, it no. doesn't have any pilling or anything. Nope. So um, he picked that one up. And it is a 2X in women's, which is a great, great size. Well, it's like most of the other items, your Star Wars mem memorabilia or Yeah, Harry a lot Potter. of them do very a well. A lot of them do good. Yes. Some don't. And I just took and went outside the box and said, hey, it's Harry Potter. There's Harry and Potter this jacket actually so was six ninety nine, and it was the half off color. So we got it for three fifty, basically three forty nine, three fifty. But um, we'll see how they do. I hope you enjoyed our haul. I know that ended up being a little longer than I thought it would be, but um, got two stores in, so I guess that's all right. But um, we hope you enjoyed this haul, and if you like it, hit the like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and you enjoy this kind of content. And I'll see you on the flip side. That's best.